What's up guys, Felix the Creator here. Today I will show you five stylish video transitions for your edits in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's zoom into the timeline. Okay, let's start right ahead here with the first transition, an old film transition or you can call it rolling frame. For this one we are using these cool shots here and in the first step we go here to the effects and search for a cross dissolve. You will find the cross dissolve in the video transitions tab here under the dissolve folder. Drag and drop this between these two shots here and it is a bit too long so double click on the transition to change the duration right here and let's bring this here to 12 frames. Okay. Now go back here to the project window. Click here on new item and create a new adjustment layer. Okay, make sure that the video settings match with your sequence settings. Okay. Drag and drop the adjustment layer here on top of these two clips. Now change the length. Bring the cursor here to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Jump back here to the effects and search for the offset effect. You will find the offset effect here under video effects tab in the distort folder. Drag and drop the offset effect on the adjustment layer. Go here to the left side to the effect controls. And as I said, make sure that the cursor is here at the beginning of the adjustment layer and set a first keyframe by clicking here on this timer icon at shift center two. Bring the cursor here to the end of the adjustment layer and change the shift center to, let's say, yeah, to 8000. Now you can see here in the preview this awesome rolling effect. And now let's step up this effect a bit by using our free Super 8mm effects here. You can download them direct in the description below. Yeah, let's jump into this folder and here you will find a few scratches here. Super 8mm overlay and this transition effect here. So let's use this one on top. Yeah, let's use the beginning here, this nice transition effect. Set a cut right here. Change the length here to something like this. Go here to the end, select this one and bring it here to screen. Go to the curves here on the right side and yeah, play around a bit here with the curves. Something like this, yeah. Now you've created this effect here fast. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's jump to the next effect and here we want to create a push transition. So bring the first clip here on video track 2 and drag the second clip here under this one. Now select the clip here on video track 2. Go here to the position and set your first keyframe by clicking this point here. Bring the cursor here to the end and change the position here to the right side. Okay, now you have easily created this one here, but we want to make this a bit smoother by selecting this clip again and click here on this arrow to open the position options. Select the two keyframes here and now you can drag this one here to the bottom. If you create a curve like this, you have a smooth start with a fast ending. Okay, now let's have a look. Yeah, as you can see, you can recreate this effect really fast. Nice. Okay, let's jump to the next transition. And at this one, I will show you how you can recreate a popular smooth slide transition in Adobe Premiere Pro only. Okay, so. In this case, we are using these two clips here. In the first step, go here to the effects and search for the push transition. You will find this in the video transitions tab 
in the slide folder. Here, drag and drop the push transition between these two clips. Okay, this is too long, so double click on it to change the duration and bring it here to, let's say, yeah, eight frames. Okay, nice. By dragging this line here on the bottom, you can make the timeline a bit bigger. And now it is important to bring the cursor here between these two clips. Jump back here to the project window and create again a new adjustment layer. By clicking here on new item and click on adjustment layer. Make sure to match the settings, okay. And drag and drop the adjustment layer here on top and change the length of the adjustment layer so it is also eight frames long, okay. Now go to the effects and search for directional blur. You will find the directional blur under the video effects tab in the blur and sharpen folder. Drag and drop this one here on the adjustment layer. Jump to the effect controls here on the left side and change the blur length right here to, yeah, to something like this here to 200 and change the direction to 90 degrees. And here's the final step, you have to animate the blur length. So make sure that the cursor here is between these two clips in the middle. Set a first keyframe here for the blur length by clicking here on this timer icon. Bring the cursor here to the beginning of the adjustment layer and the push transition and change the blur length to zero. Go to the end of the adjustment layer and by clicking here on the reset parameter, you will set a keyframe also at zero. Now select this one, make a right click and say easy out. Go to the last one, make also a right click and say easy in. Let's jump to number four, the split screen transition. Okay, in this case, we want to bring up the first clip here on video track two and bring it a bit more here to the right side, add to something like this. Now bring the cursor to the beginning of the second clip right here. Click on C at your keyboard to select the razor tool or jump here to the razor tool and make a cut. Jump back by clicking the V on your keyboard to go to jump back to the selection tool. Select this one here, hold the Alt key on your keyboard to easily duplicate this clip. Just drag and drop this clip above. Now jump back to the effects and search for the crop effect. You will find the crop effect under the video effects tab in the transform folder. Drag and drop the crop effect here on the first clip, on the first cut and here on the second one. And now select the card here at video track 3 and crop this one here on the top by 50%. Choose the card under this one and bring the bottom here to 50%. And now we want to animate the position. Go here to the effect controls and set a first keyframe by clicking here on this timer watch. Go to the end of this cut and change the position here to, to the top, yeah, to zero. And as you can see, Premiere Pro automatically created a second keyframe right here. Select the clip above, bring the cursor here to the beginning. Again, set a keyframe here, add position, bring the cursor here to the end. Change the position to the bottom. And now you have created this stylish split screen effect. Awesome, I really like this one. Yeah, and if you like these kind of transitions or 
if you like the split screen effect, make sure to watch one of my other videos where I show you in detail how you can create stylish film split screens in Adobe Premiere Pro. And you can also download some sample files at this video. Okay, last but not least, let's create the last effect here, the shake effect transition. And in this case, we are using the end of this clip. Let's zoom a bit in and here by dragging this line to the top, we can create a bigger preview here. You can also select the C on your keyboard to use the razor tool. And now jump to the right side with the right arrow on your keyboard to get a frame forward. And let's create a few cuts here at every frame. Let's go to the first frame here and jump to the effect controls and scale it a bit up. And now we change the scaling and the position randomly on every frame to create a stylish shake effect. Go to the next cut and at this point we will repeat the whole process here on the second cut. So set a cut at every frame and change the position and the scaling randomly. Yeah and now with the right music you can use this shake effect transition for some cool edits in your next videos. Yeah, that's it for this one. And if you want to learn how to apply and how to use the most transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro, make sure to watch another video from me where I show you exactly how you can edit like a pro fast. So check this out and hear you soon, Felix the Creator.